What is the crack, ladies and gentlemen? It's Gibbo Area here with another episode of Minecraft Solo Hardcore Survival. How y'all doing? Oh, wait. So the last time we managed to make most of this, which I'm quite happy with. Uh, I'm delighted that the majority of it is finished. However, we are currently missing a roof. Which is kind of a, a vital part of any building. It seems to be a common theme now that I... Now that I look at uh, my other structure there as well. I'm not going to die here from jumping off, am I? I'm always paranoid about that. Okay. What we're going to do right now is... We're going to quickly harvest all of this crack. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a direction. And we are going to set off in a boat. And we are hoping to find a mesa. So today we're going off in search of... Grand... Adventure. And... Items. And things. And resources that we didn't have. Otherwise, uh, something else you'll also notice is the camera is now pointing a different direction because I have moved my monitor in order to be closer to the desk that allows me to have the microphone directly in my face, which means you should hear me hella clearly in comparison with yesterday's long dark video and possibly the Minecraft. Yeah, and the Minecraft video too. So should be a lot better now, actually. So awesome. Right. So we got another 54. Hopefully by the time we get back, I don't, well, actually we won't be in the chunk, so it won't be loaded. So... There's not going to be... Eh, actually, that won't really happen. Hopefully, anyway, when we get back, we can do some shit and kill a bit of time. And we'll be able to uh, harvest a few more of those. This is what I've been doing in the meantime without you guys. I've just been chipping around here. and uh, I broke one that I didn't need to. Let's break this one. And then I can jump on top of it just in case it's a tall one. I don't think it is. No, it's not. Uh, so, anyway. What we're going to do is we're probably going to head off in this direction here. I'm going to pause the recording. And... Hopefully, when I come back, we'll have discovered something useful. Um, because I think, again, we're, we're hitting a bit of a roadblock in terms of resources. We don't have the blocks that I would like in order to be able to build the things that I want to build. Uh, and that's kind of frustrating. So we need to go on an adventure to find said blocks. Um, so that way we can at least know where we need to go in the future for collecting said resources. I haven't looked at the seed for this game. What is the seed? How do I see the seed? I forget how to load the seed. There is a way of looking at the seed. Maybe I have to look at it outside of this. It doesn't matter. Uh, but anyway, I forget how to look at the seed, but I haven't looked at it for this one. But I know that I could boot up the program that shows you, like, a world map of it. And I could find it based on the seed that we have placed into it. But I, I don't plan on doing that because, yeah, that's, that's cheating. That's cheating, and I don't, I don't, I'm not down with that. That's, that's the easy way out. I may resort to that in the end, ultimately, if I can find it. But we're gonna try to do it the old natural way first. Yeah. Nor have I loaded this up in creative mode, or am I willing to, again, using the seed, in order to zoom around and go find shit. Which would be woefully inefficient in comparison with just doing it. I heard a different sound there. Again, I'm always paranoid when I hear these things. We're not going to bother with the chickens or the things. We'll just lash all of this into here for the time being. Actually, we will do the cows very quickly. Boom, boom. Okay, grab that wheat. Wait, that's enough for six cows. Hold shift so we can reach them. And there's six gone in. Let's just zoom around here. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Hopefully that's six new baby cows, which are known as calves. Jump up with this. Hopefully that's enough time for all this shit here to despawn. Did I use up all of those? I did. Fantastic. Let's grab a couple of these saplings so that way we can maintain our our fucking spruce forest of death. I, I named it the spruce forest of death, by the way. Just in case you guys are wondering why I'm referring to it that way. It seemed like the most appropriate. And of course it's raining. Wouldn't be an episode of Minecraft Solo Hardcore Survival if it wasn't fucking raining. Would it be? Hmm? Hmm. Typical. Typical. Again, Ireland is currently experiencing some seriously stormy weather at this time. Although it appears to have subsided somewhat. It is meant to kick back up in the next hour or two. So, uh, and I am planning on heading out from the beer this evening. So hopefully I get this episode done. There is an Arma episode on the way. It's been a while since I've done one of them. But funny shit happened and I want to share it with you guys. So, and my friends as well. So, that's going to have to get edited now. So that's going to be the next thing that I edit. Uh, after playing this, and then I'm gonna jump off this, take a break, go out, do some exercise and shit like that. And then, like I said, I'll be out this evening, so hopefully by the time I get back, uh, prior to going out, one one thing or the other will be finished rendering, and I can, um, 
get to work uploading that in order to work on the next episode the next day. I'm trying to be trying to be diligent in my uploading uh, in order to keep on top of things. Um, also, I'm going to be changing the upload settings of how I upload videos because at the moment I am noticing that audio desync is still occurring. And I'm also noticing that my camera and stuff like that are pixelating somewhat, which might be a lighting issue. But I, I don't think it is. I'm not really 100% what's causing that. It looks fine on my computer prior to me uploading it to YouTube. But then when I upload it to YouTube, it looks like shit. So, eh. There's obviously something I'm doing wrong somewhere there that I, I just need to figure out. And once I get on top of that, we'll be sorted. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to go grab this boat. Do I have excess wood? Do I have spare food? I have most of whatever I need. Should be grand. Back in a minute. Okay, so we found sheep. Like, literally, the next island over. So that's good to know. We, we don't need them immediately, but it's good to know they're there. We can come back to that. There's also an abundance of sand around here as well, which is pretty sweet. Oh, is that a desert? One can hope. Anyway, back in a minute. Still on the same course here at the moment. And it's just islands for days. The temple just loaded in over there. I saw that and I kind of got hopeful that we had found a desert, but... I don't believe we have. I think I saw more structures over there to the left. Oh, it could have just been the way things loaded in. Hmm. Anyway. There's another temple for us to worry about later. So if I make a balls of... Taking control of the one that we have at the moment. There's, there's always the fallback. So much of this map is water. Holy fucking shit. Oh, this looks like it could be a winner over here. It just could be that the sand on the coast is just loaded in. No, I think it is just literally that. It's a tiny little island. So it's all sand. We're not a... We're on fucking wa Kevin Costner's water world here at the moment. <laughs> Fuck me. There is literally no landmass in this direction. I maybe it looks like stuff is loading in ahead of us here now, but they all look like islands as well. We've gone quite far. Like we're up to about a thousand blocks here now at this stage. Hey, here we go. But unfortunately, it's a dark oak forest. Right, back in a minute. Er Okay, we've gone about, like, nearly 1,500 blocks in this this direction. I haven't seen anything, so it's getting dark. So my plan is I'm going to go back to the start. I'm going to head out maybe an opposite direction. Or not the opposite direction, because that would bring us to the winter biome, but left or right instead. And see if we have any joy in that regard. So anyway, back in a minute. Er, and of course, it would be a lightning storm. So, mmm. Great. Fucking great as a zombie spawns right behind me there on the, uh, the wee little dark oak. Oh. That was, that was quite close. Let's, let's get the fuck out of here. Promptly. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so there's our base in the distance. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, let, let's go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> quick as we can. Hopefully, like, a bazillion skellies don't spawn on this. That's happened to me once or twice now. I look away, and then I look back, and then there's this... Oh, shit. There's just mobs, like, everywhere. Just fucking... Because <laughs> there's not a lot of, like, spawnable locations due to the fact, like, we're out at sea. So, once there's, like, one little spot of land, like, ten mobs spawn almost instantly. That's why it was important that we lit this island up. Okay, maybe we'll go this direction this time. I have a feeling that might be successful. I had a feeling, I'm going to refer to this as south, but I had a feeling that might be successful too. Maybe we should make a compass. Now that I think of it, that's actually a really smart idea. I, I know I could just look at the coordinates and write them down and all that shit, but like it's an item that's in the game, so why not make use of it? I believe it's one piece of redstone. Could you... There we go. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. I haven't done any AFK farming without you guys that I recall. Um, so there's no new resources or anything of that nature there just yet. Boom, we'll come back this in here. Okay, that's 
secure. Oh, let's lamp this here. I should have slept while I was up there. It's a waste of time. Boom. Okay, we don't need that immediately, but what that will do, that will point to our bed. So it always points in the direction of your bed, so it gives you a vague idea of which direction your spawn point is. So if you want to find your base, sleep, build a compass, and then you'll always be able to find it. My advice, obviously, would still be to write down your coordinates to your base. So that way you could always ultimately find it in the end anyway, but... It's a nice feature to have, especially when we're doing what we're doing here. Right, this direction. Let's skirt the temple a fair bit. <laughs> Back in a minute. Okay, so within about, like, a hundred blocks, like, I think you can still see the temple. You can probably still see the base. We got to this wintry biome. Which is not good. Um, because I, I can't remember if the game still works off a of kind of like a climate-based system whereby coal biomes will spawn next to coal biomes. In which case, this kind of fucks us. Shit. Right. And I think this actually stretches. It goes on, like, the spruce forest there. There's, mmm... Okay, I think we need to head over to the way we went the first time when we got the slimes. That seems to be our best course of action, because that was mainland as well. Well, that's that's why I'm... Delag. Oh, damn. If that happens once more, I might have to pause this. No, we're good. I think we're good. Something's just loaded there, obviously. <laughs> Fuck me. Um... I think that's probably going to be our best course of action, because I think everything in this direction, probably for a good L distance, is going to be some some form of snow, ice, winter biome. It's not really going to be what we're looking for. But sure, we can skirt around it here. We might as well follow the perimeter of it. The struggle. This is a really, like, it's a barren fucking world. Like, there's so much of it is just water. And it's loading so many new chunks, and it's struggling here. Anyway, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna keep fucking hell by. I'm gonna keep. Go Maybe my computer is making an update or something like that. I don't know. It just seems to be struggling all of a sudden. Anyway, I'm gonna pause this and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so there's your problem. If you look up in the top right there, you'll see that I'm currently rocking memory 15% out of 3,000 megabytes. Uh, it only had one gig allocated for some reason, whereas normally I'd have two. So. I have 16 gigs of RAM on this computer, so I gave it three. <laughs> it was maxing out. That's all it was. So obviously, it's just because we've loaded in so much. It wasn't used to having that much. That was what was causing the the freezes every now and again. So that's fine. Easy fix. No worries. No worries. Just too much shit loaded at once. Should be fine now. Anyway, back on our adventure. So we've managed to get clear of the spruce, and we are now into oak. So it looks like we're getting to warmer climates now. Again, I, I'm still operating under the assumption that that's how that works still. I see a swamp there in the distance. So I think this is where we have a wee little forward base, if I'm not mistaken. And as you can see, compass is still pointing us in the vague general direction of home is that way somewhere. So we can find our way back fairly straightforward as well. So no need to panic. This is a part of playing vanilla Minecraft, by the way. You gotta go look for shit. There's our little FOB. Let's keep that in mind. <laughs> Just in case we need a quick L spot to stop off. And let's push in this way. See if we can find what we fucking need. Let's try not hit too many of these lily pads either. Okay. Stream hills. As he knocks down a lily pad. Oops. There are only so many lily pads in the world. You gotta bear that in mind. One day, life's little lily pad counter is gonna run out. I'm not stealing that from Zombie Land at all. I didn't modify the sentence. I'm not paraphrasing. What are you talking about? That is original humor. Original content. This week in... Sea Survivor Simulator 2017... Another dark oak. We're, we're still into warmer climates here, so... I have a feeling if we continue to follow it in this direction, we're eventually going to get lucky. 
eventually. I'll be back in a minute. And thus ends day two of the search. It turns into a bigger swamp and then more wintry biome over this way. So now I'm not too sure if they still place them in bases of climate. Or if they do, it just looks like it done gone fucked up. Fuck you, squid. Oh, I think our base is somewhere over here directly in front of us. Yeah, pretty much in a nutshell. I suppose we just keep following the coast of the mainland here. There's not much else for it. However, night is fast approaching. So I think we're going to RTB and come up with a new plan. Back in a minute. Found a third underwater temple. Fuck me. <laughs> they seem to be common enough. That's three we've found so far. Let's just give the Guardians an L wide berth there. Let's not at four. Four underwater temples. But no Mesa. No Mesa. Shit, I had to alt tab out to fucking turn off my music. We need to get out of this chunk. It's nighttime and I, I found a savannah. And also a village on it. So we need to get out of here so we don't spawn mobs. Uh, because it's nighttime. But then we are going to come back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fucking... Uh, unload it. Come on, you bitch. Let's get a bit further over here. I don't mind mobs spawning on this side, but if they spawn over yonder, we're pretty boned. Right, we're just going to chill here for a second. Uh, dawn is fast approaching. So let's go over, have a look at the village, and see if we can't get any nice, easy trades off those villagers. Where are we here now at the moment? Minus 1,000. I, I forget what our spawn is. I think it's something like zero on the Z-axis. So we're about 1,500 blocks away from spawn now at the moment. But we found a savanna. Savannas tend to be next to deserts. And... Maces, so worth a gander, worth a fucking gander. Might even get close to a jungle or something like that too. All of those tend to spawn in proximity to each other, so I'm very excited. I've been doing this for a half an hour now. <laughs> this is starting to stress me out. I'm very close to just looking up the fucking seed. Back in a minute. Okay, so we're back. I had to turn it off there for a second because my sound died. I was mining this tree and I, I noticed that there was no noise happening. But I can hear the game again, so it's all good. So we found the savannah. Fucking fantastic. And we've also managed to get our hands on some acacia wood, which is quite nice. And now that I think of it, would actually be quite a decent substitute for what we're looking for. So even if we don't find the fucking mesa, we've got some acacia, which is all good with me. Did I get a acacia sapling? No, I did not. All right, we're going to want to get a couple of these bad boys and bring them back because, like, going... 1,800 blocks just to fucking get wood sucks. Uh, <laughs> 1,800 blocks to get wood. <laughs> Shut up, everyone. You know it's funny. You know it's hilarious. I saw that cow. I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna leave him be. He's here in his natural savanna habitat. There's one. Last, but we want to get more than one. We have two. We're gonna want more than two. Probably gonna want about yeah, ten <laughs> to be on the safe side of life. Lots of leaves on this tree, so we'll just smash all this up quick as we can here. Hopefully that'll give us another three or four saplings. I'd be happy with that. But we we definitely want a surplus. I am gonna chop down another one just so it starts despawning in the meantime. I have to say, I like the fact that the the villages actually um, use the acacia wood when they're in a savanna. I think that's that's a nice touch. It's definitely a nice touch. I approve, Mojang. Or Microsoft, or whatever it is these days. I approve, nonetheless. Let us go have a chat with the lads, and also see what resources they have that I could steal. My friend! How are you? Don't mind me, I'm not stealing your potatoes, like your bog-standard traditional Irishman. Oh dear, this is a problem. Right here, ain't it? I saw some form of particle. Right there. I believe it is time to investigate. Oh yeah. What's that falling down? The sand. And it's unsupported. Oh dear. 
Well, for the sake of our new friends here, <laughs> I believe it's important that we wall this off because if ever there was going to be a zombie problem, it was going to be right about yonder. We won't completely wall her off, but enough that we know that this was a problem. And I'll put two torches on it to signify the fact that this will require further attention later. Okay, let's have a chat with some of the guys here. So what are you, a blacksmith? Toolsmith, 16 coal gets me an emerald. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> He's got some good trades already. Iron shovel with fortune on it. Like, can't, can't sniff at that. What are you guys? You look like regular Joes. I can't talk with you for some reason, so you're a jerk. So are you. Can I only trade with you chaps? Okay, he wants 25 paper. And you're the same guy as over there. No, you're not. 22 gold gets you an emerald. They're, they're great trades. Like, fuck me, coal is something that we're going to come across in abundance. Especially when I put fortune... On one of my um, pickaxes. What do you got for me? Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Where was this a couple of episodes ago when we needed it? Like, there's me armor looking. Considering this is knackered. Let's whack this on. And there you go. Merry Christmas. Look, I left you that. I robbed you. I mean, I didn't rob you. I was just... Oh, look at this shit, man. It's like a wee little dock and everything, dude. This is pretty nifty, Fifty. I have to say, I'm thoroughly impressed with this village. The village generation has definitely improved dramatically in Minecraft over the years. Sometimes they're fucking terrible. This one's pretty neat. Except for this wee little... Whatever the fuck parkour mission this is. I could just place a block. I'm aware, but I'm determined. There you go. Well, now, guys, look, I, I fixed your house. <laughs> you can now get in. And they've got a well and everything. Holy shit, man. How deep is it? Like one block, two block, several. It appears to be several. I don't plan on falling in and finding out. Have we got anything else here that's spawned in terms of villagers? 18 for one. That's pretty good. He seems like our winner so far in terms of decent trades. What are you? Why can't I interact with you? Why aren't you being a bro? No? Like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> you fucking cock. 31. What do we got? What? Damn. Mm. There's some good shit here. And we got so much fucking obsidian there. What's over yonder? I see a couple of more over here. We'll just hit that double tap key so we're sprinting. The boys. Again, I love the decking that it spawns. Like, oh, how are you, bud? 24, and that's all you got for me. You have no door on your gaff there, buddy. I wonder there's this one. Feels bad, man. I love the paths going through it as well. Man, fuck me. This is class. <laughs> it's so much better than what it used to be like. Right, we're going to steal some of the radish anyway. I, I, not certain that we necessarily need it. I don't see any carrots. Yeah, it's all spud. You guys got something against... Don't mind me. Just doing my thing. Stealing your beetroots. Yeah, don't mind me. Look, replaced it and everything. I'm such a good fucking dude. There we go. We have lashings now, sure. Lashings, hey. Right, and then there's more Savannah heading over that direction. Eh, there wasn't a library, which is, or a church, which is a bit of a letdown. Yet there's so many librarians, or whatever you call them. <laughs> Not a single place for us to steal a load of books. Um, feels bad. Ah, uh, sure, what can you do? That's, it's not the worst thing in the world. We, the fact that we found the acacia is going to be a massive boon in terms of different colored woods that we can use. And I also get the impression that we're heading in the right direction in terms of finding the mesa for the red sandstone. But with the acacia, which I had kind of discounted, that actually will probably achieve the, the slatted kind of, here you go. Yeah, that's, 
Look at that. That actually looks a lot better. I think that's going to be much more inclined with what I actually want. So I actually think we can return to base and this isn't an entirely wasted adventure. However, I would like to come back with a bit of obsidian and make myself a fucking nether portal. What I'm thinking is, is like 1800 blocks every time I want to get a bit of redwood or come to see these villages is a bit of a pain in the tats ass, but I'd rather come back with the resources to do it. Um, rather than dig down and try and do it now, have the chunk loaded above me, come up and find all the villagers dead. If yous catch my drift, yous know how them darn zombies like to chomp on them. Where's the... I chopped down a fucking second tree. Where's the saplings? It was like around here. We have five, which should be an ample amount, like, but... I did do another one, unless that's it there. Uh, no, it's not. It's most certainly not. I don't know what happened with that last one. Huh. <laughs> no. Little rip. Anyway, right. Not the worst adventure in the world. Not the greatest. In terms of goals being achieved. But not the worst. We didn't do so bad there, Ned. That was, that was quite good. We've gotten some shit. Huh, parkour god. Oh, did I go too far? I went too far. Oh, we may have to go soon. It is about to become nighttime, and we do not want to be here when it becomes nighttime. Let us quickly grab these last couple of acacia blocks, just so that way we have enough to make enough fucking... Oh, shit. Yeah, I just gotta go. Come on, there we got one more. Let's go for the greed. Quickly now. Uh, oh, yeah, they're all dropping now because it's getting nighttime. The game's like, come on, Sean, stay here. No problems, dude. Not gonna be an issue. Yeah, no, let's just get the fuck out of here. I'm not wasting the... The only village that I've found this fucking map so far. Okay, let's get out of here. Huh. We can bring villagers back to the base later on. But for right now, I think this is our best course of action. We've got, like, loads of fucking... It. Yeah. That was a good day. That was a good day. Right. I'll be back in a minute once we get back to the base. Okay. So, here we are. We're back at the base. Um, what we're probably going to do now is immediately drop these acacia saplings. Probably plant one about here. Go in the... No, I can't. No. Rip that idea. We'll keep them separate from the spruce so it doesn't look stupid. Even though this is probably going to look stupid in their positioning here anyway. But fucking whatever. Who cares? It's fine. There they are. They're down. They'll grow into a cooking... Into a cooking? <laughs> into fucking acacia saplings here now shortly. And we can uh, start profiting in that regard. Right. What else we got to do? Okay. Not bad. And we've got a bit of obsidian now. And I actually think I still have a couple of obsidian left over here if I'm not mistaken. I do. Yeah, so we could totally make a nether portal out that way. That's a really good idea. But you know what? I'd probably want to get enough for, to make two. So what's that? Two and two. So we need another ten. So that way we could not only make the nether portal there, but the nether portal to link it in the nether as well. And then we're going to need to create some form of hub whereby we can get from our spot in the nether, where we are, safely to the spot that would transport us to that area then as well. And that's what we're going to do. In order to be able to quickly get around is we're going to create like a... In a similar fashion to what the Minecrackers and Hermitcraft lads do. The, the nether hub, so to speak. Whereby we'll have a kind of central point, which is where we are now. Using this thing. And then... We will go into the nether. Rapidly transit between the various areas that we need to safely in a secure... Built up fucking like kind of tunnel system that we'll create. And then that's how we'll be able to get between all the various different biomes fairly rapidly. Um... It takes a while to build up that network, though. I've done it a couple of times now on a couple of various different servers. It takes a bit of fiddling to link up the gates. Uh, or nether portals, rather. I'm thinking in terms of Stargate here now. Uh, it takes takes a bit of fiddling to get that shit to link up, but you get there in the end. We have beetroot now, so we're going to need another farm plot now soon uh, for our beetroot. And then not only that, eventually our carrots as well. So it may actually end up going somewhere in and around this area here in the interest of just keeping things spaced out. 
Primal. Floating about here. Which one is he? He will be the glorious looking one. Oh yes. The glorious one himself. Look at him, he does no fucks given. He's like, no, I'm walking over this side, give up. You wanna fucking look at me? That ain't happening today. Okay. No dicking around here now. Let's turn this into a Keisha wood plank. Let's go over here and we'll use this crafting bench right here. And we can put the finishing touches onto our temple. Boom. Should be an ample supply there now. We're also going to need gravel. I need a lot of gravel. To grovel. <laughs> okay. Dip that right there. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. It's feeling Mediterranean. It's feeling Roman. It's feeling good. I suppose if we really wanted to make it Roman, we probably should have made all this shit out of quartz. But nah. We're a budget Roman. Or the Empire just pre-fall. That's that's what we are. I think I actually made exactly the right amount of um, torches here as well. Or torches and um, stairs. Which is, that is a serious feels good man moment. Oh yes. Boom. Man you bitch. There we go. Fucking sorted. Loving this new microphone by the way. I've listened back to a couple of the sound clips that we've recorded so far. That... The new positioning and all that shit is quite decent. I have to turn down the sensitivity because you can hear every single <sighs> that I make. So I need to adjust that ever so slightly. So that way it doesn't pick up absolutely every single fucking breath that I make. Uh, other than that, we're pretty golden. Fucking nice, man. Exactly the right amount. Sick. Now, we need to fill in this bad boy here. And we need to do some form of intricate design. We can't just make a look shit. It's got to look good. I'm thinking now. I'm thinking. Which is always a dangerous thing when I start thinking. Mind you. Let me grab that. We'll replace that now in a second once we've, uh, we've fiddled a wee bit here. I'm thinking we just literally boom. Boom. Do I have cracked on me still? I do. Hey. I do. Hey. Wait, no, what have I done? I've already made a bollocks of it, like. There we go now. Here's the rain as well. I can hear that in the background. Fucking glorious. That's why I, I didn't replace the block that I was on, because I knew I was going to end up fucking fall. Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, see... Oh shit, no. Oh no, we do need sandstone. Ah. Uh, yeah, no, the fire rules. Okay, right, we're gonna have to rethink this. Um. Yeah, no, that's too close to the fire now. Let's, let's finish the bit that we're working on here now at the moment. We'll worry about that now in a second. So we have an idea of what this is going to look like. Shit. We'll get that now in a moment. Okay. Alright. Alright. We'll leave this here for a moment. Fuck. Can I reach that for me? I'm going to have to do this the old fashioned way. Jump! 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 Managed to free up whatever was going on with that block. Oop. Put this in here. No, you're meant to be the other type. Yeah, that looks decent. I'm happy enough with that. I'm not happy with the the opportunity for stuff to go on fire here. Now that is deeply concerning. I'm gonna watch it for a bit here and see if a fire develops. I'm gonna get a higher view on it here. Hold on a second. Um, I may do like a time lapse of this. 
And then we'll see how quick we are at putting it out, sure. Back. Back in a minute. <laughs> okay, so... Having watched this and seen it go on fire... Uh, doing a bit of research regarding the rules around fire spawning. If I want to use these blocks in the roof, which I do, I think they look awesome. And as much as I am loath to do what I'm about to do, or we're going to have to. Um, unfortunately, these are going to have to be moved. No way around it. It quite simply has to be done. Otherwise, we're going to set this poor fucking thing on fire. So what we are going to do is we are going to go out maybe to about here. I think once we're three blocks away, we're safe. Yeah. And then again, we're going to put down our nether rack on each side. Pop that. And then we will uh, we will rebuild as if nothing ever happened. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Let's grab that shit. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, and then boom. I know, I think that would look better if it was one more out, to be honest with you. If we move it over just one more, like, I think it would look pretty sweet. Even here, yeah, no, about here. Actually, no, here, yeah, no, we'll go out three blocks this time. So we actually want it to be about, yeah, we're going to have to do a fair bit of terraforming here now in a second. <laughs> We're gonna want it to be about there. You bastard. Why did you place like that? Ah, you fuck. Now we grab that. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Fuck, dude. Why? Huh? There we are. Nice. Get that down. Let's have a gander at this. Ah, yeah, you know, that, that looks fucking grand. It's not, it's not exactly the same, but I suppose it's... Because I name it at the top half of the wall. I know. Okay. Shut up, everyone. Boom. Okay. Let's catch this on the right bounce. Ah, fuck. We need two more steps now. Oop, uh, grab those really fast. We're probably going to need a couple now, actually. Because we're going to want to do something here. With regard to this. Yeah. We're going to want... Mm, about that many. <laughs> Guesstimation is at its finest. Nailed it. Oh, ah, fuck. Nailed it. No, ah, why? It worked here. Why can't it work here? Maybe because I did that with that one. Then I do that one with that. Ha ha! Yes, there we are. That'll do it. That'll do it. Okay, so we want to put a block here. We want to fuck that one up. And then we want to fuck that one up with it. Yes. That's looking good. Fuck that one up. And then fuck that one up in it. And the exact amount of blocks required. Let's go steal some sand off Summit. Really fast. Like a bit of that. A bit of this. Yeah, let's just ro I'll pilfer a fucking ton of this and flatten this bit of space out so we can use it later. Why not? Here's some dirt. I do love dirt. I have many uses for dirt, I'm sure. Right, let's light this fucker up since we've uh, removed a few torches. Gonna need more than what I've actually gathered here. Let's not skimp for the moment. Okay, our... Intrepid shovel has just worn out, so that that fucking sucks. Quickly grab as much of this as we can. Okay. Light this back up as well, just to make sure we have this whole area. Uh, that one was unnecessary. That one there, though. Just to be on the safe side. Now, fuck, I'm gonna grab a bit of this as well, just so it's easy to get up here. Oh well, if it's flat there, sure we might as well. Hey. There we go. Lashings of sand, hopefully. Hopefully that's more than enough for what we need to do here now. One hopes. Okay, so... Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. 
Boom, boom, boom. Also, class. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Fuck. Right, this is... It's already looking better. Has a bit more of a presence to it now, actually. I'm not adverse to it, but I'm not a massive fan of it either. How deep is it onto this shelf? It's not that bad. Well, actually, yeah, we're, we're not really going on that shelf. We're going to be going for this, aren't we? Oh, fucking rip that idea. Uh, we're going to have to do a bit of... bit of manipulation here now. So... Directly underneath that brings us down to here. There we go. We're building a little platform that we can uh, peel the little sand ledge off. And we'll try and make it look ever so slightly au natural as well. need a bigger boat <laughs> realistically speaking all of this sand is now going to be removed as well so we can actually pill for a bit of this and use it just to pad out the last lumps here now in a second we may end up taking the sand on my right hand side there as well and turning all that into dirt later on but for the time being this will serve its purpose boom 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 boom, boom. okay cast We still need a bit more. Oh, fuck. Rip. Grab all of this shit. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of all this fucking... This sand. This is all gonna get turned into dirt. Simple as. Easy fix. And again, yeah, there's no point in filling that bit in there because, like... That just keeps going, sure. This bit we can do. Keep it somewhat all natural. Right, it's not looking terrible, but it's not looking great either. Let's light it up anyway and let's have a gander at her. Flint and steel on me, thanks be to God. That makes life a little bit easier. Fuck. There we go. Rip. <laughs> ha ha. That sets the tree on fire. So be it. That's all I'll say. We're going to log on one day and that tree ain't going to be there. And I'm going to have a giggle at it. It had a nice run. But in the interests of... Creativity. We'll just have to move it. <laughs> Does that obey the rules? No, it doesn't. We would have to get rid of a few of these leaves. Do a bit of a trim, we might be able to save it here now. I think that actually might be more than enough. I'd want to get rid of these ones here as well. I'm not too sure if the sword actually does this quicker, I don't think it does. <laughs> Fuck it though, we're committed. That actually should be ample. Oh yeah, that should be fine. Three blocks over. Get rid of this. Yeah, no, that should be more than fine. The tree won't have to go anywhere. Delighted. Okay. Right, it's not it's not the same as what it was, but it's not bad either. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it so far. Um, I would like to do something across here. 
just to to break up the monotony of the the flatness of this shape so like have something coming across here but we will think about that maybe shortly we're gonna fill in the back what i think of it as well so we don't have to worry about that okay we'll just have to hope that that falls off yeah no oh, fuck you anyway dude christ <laughs> here we go boom and we're not gonna have any special carved bits on this one I didn't actually want to put that many. Oh, you fucker. I keep doing that. I didn't want to put that many cracked on it, but rip. We're, we're committed to it now. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Let's get rid of this dirt. Clean this out and actually have a look at our handiwork. Oh, man, we, can put this back. we can try and put this back here class there we go okay let's make sure that this area is sufficiently lit up now that we've uh we've done a bit of gerrymandering with it let's have a quick owl gander around recollect all the blocks that i nearly wasted this is kind of dark that's a bit better now sorted right fuck me man we got some shit done today nice and as you can see the acacia i think in the background has actually grown yeah, and a couple more of the spruce trees, which we will now harvest off camera. Not bad for today. Um, I like that. That's that's the color that I wanted. Uh, I can't believe I didn't account for acacia. Although I suppose if we had sandstone, every second layer would be kind of flat. Whereas that actually looks like tiles, which actually fits it a bit better. But the sandstone wouldn't have been on, wouldn't gone on fire like so. Give and take, I guess. Give and take. This is more accurate than what I built before, though. That the things, the fire things, weren't actually on the, the columns previously. They were like they are now. They were like a separate entity, just kind of along the path. Leading down to it. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay, we're going to wrap this episode up here, guys. Next time, I'm not too sure what the plan is absolutely just yet. We probably will be looking at getting our bookshelves set up somewhere. We probably will do a bit of work on this fucking sham of a construction and try and sort it out. Because at the moment, it, it looks like a beached whale gone, gone fucking horrendously wrong. So we need to, we need to do something about that because it's horrendous. I hate this combination of colors. I think they look terrible. Anyway. It's been Giveaway, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like down below or possibly consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any other comments, questions, concerns about anything that happened to this video, leave it down below in the comment section. I'll we'll be back to you soon as I can. Take your handy. Bye bye!